Hello again, Josie here. Uh, so I'm doing another re-unboxing video. So this is for my soul doll, Serena. Now you may have remembered, um, if you've watched my previous videos, I did a re-unboxing of the soul doll Serena Centuri uh, body uh, for the head that I had. Um, and this is her over here. I don't know if she's really in frame. Um, but uh, so we've already done that one. Now this is for the human head that I got. Um, so this was the complete doll that I had bought. Um, but for some reason I can't seem to find her full set, which uh, is causing me lots of lots of panic. So we won't be dressing her in that. Um, <laughs> you can see that I have a, a Fairyland outfit here that I had her in originally. But I think we're going to change her into something a little more princessish. Um, although she did look pretty hot in this, so I'm not going to lie. And she might find herself in that again at some point. But for now, oh, actually, I guess I boxed her in that set. So here she is with that fairyland now her legs because that that set was actually meant for a a people uh 60 um the legs were far from right so that's why she's not wearing um like stockings or anything along those lines but we're gonna change her out of this and put her into like i said uh, a set a different gown so Now, the Soul Dolls are definitely one of my favorite dolls. I just, uh, I love them. And they fit in well with my um, other groups of dolls. So the Ipple House, the, the uh, um, well, all of them actually. So I like that. Hmm. So this particular Serena, I had um, had her body blushed uh, when I ordered her, and you can see that it's wearing. I, I find with the the um, Soul Dolls, their body blush uh, is really, and, I, and maybe it's just because they don't use a lot of of um, clear coat over top. But they really do not seem to last terribly long, uh, for whatever reason. So they seem to wear pretty darn fast. So it's unfortunate, but very true. Okay. So I actually have a couple of nicks and cracks on her face, but I still think she's absolutely gorgeous. I love this girl. Whew. Snug on her. There we go. So the outfit I'm going to put her in um, is actually um, an outfit I purchased <coughs> off of legend dolls and uh, some of you who are familiar with me and uh, my dolls may have seen her or photos of her in this on one of the websites um, it was kind of a favorite of mine and I'm not gonna lie this one actually is really snug to get her into as well but thankfully she just barely fits into it so In certain areas I should say it's uh, in other areas it's a little it's a little loose uh, case in point but uh, I think it was her chest area that was 
that was uh, a little loose or a little little uh, snug. Okay, so we're going to put her in her boots and on the stand to dress her because there's a lot of skirt to this outfit and uh, it's probably easier to do that way. So, do this. Actually, better. This uh, dress has a lot, a lot of fabric to it, but I love the shades of pink, and it really suits her coloring so well, so I'll see if this goes. And then the overskirt. Which I remember being very difficult to do to get the snaps done right. Just because the stitching seems to be in the way of some of those snaps. And, you know, plastic snaps are only so good, right? Case in point, that particular snap. Alright, let's give this a try. Okay, well, I can't seem to get that one to do it. So we'll move on and try and get it later. Nice thing about these sleeves is that they're big enough that her hands can fit through. Because when you got beautiful manicures and such, you really don't want to mess those up. Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, this is where I had issues the last time because, again, her boobs are really big. Let's see if I managed to stretch it out enough the last time to get it to fit right. Well, I gotta say, I don't know if it's just because it's the second time putting her in this, or if uh, it's uh, just because I actually used it now twice. I think that skirt's wrong. It's to be switched around. Like, that should be in the back, not the front, maybe? So 
sometimes I wish these big gowns came with instructions just to make sure you're putting it on right. It would be nice to know. loved her wig in the, for this, this full set. It's so beautiful. It's got those gorgeous rings and it suits her so well. This just hooks onto some of this trim, which I'm not a super big fan of. I would have preferred a stitched place to put this, but if you want to do that. Just like that. Probably have to go searching for um, some, a new hand for her. The staff I have with her twin, if you will. So this is Soul Doll Serena. Like I said, I can't remember who actually made this. So I should have checked the tags before I put it on to see if I could figure it out. Beautiful though. Absolutely stunning. I love this set. It is so pretty. So much fabric. Like it is just, it's beautiful. Unfortunately, because of this, you need a lot of room, so keep that in mind. Uh, although I don't think this set is available anymore, if I'm not mistaken, it sold out. So I think it was a limited, a limited set. So thank you for watching, and hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Be kind. Bye. Hello. Um, just a quick view of Soul Doll Serena. I just wanted to show you a final view uh, before we wrap this video up. Um, this gown is, like I said, just complete perfection. Please excuse my videography. Here she is. That cape is seriously long. Mind you, so are those, uh, those billowing skirts as well. Just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Let's just get a close look at her now. Lovely. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today, and uh, I hope everybody takes care. Um, be safe. Bye.